last time I took you to shop today, I will tell you guys how I make my own vanilla pudding. You need milk. You need some um, vanilla put some banana pudding and some vanilla pudding. I would say do two things of vanilla pudding and one thing of banana pudding. You need four bananas. You need some vanilla wafers. You need some vanilla wafers and you need some milk. You will follow the instruction on the back of the um, pudding box and you need some whipped cream, two tubs of whipped cream. So we're gonna make this little thing up. We're gonna make our, do our pudding first. I think to each pack of pudding, it says use two cups of cold milk. Let's see. Yeah, hope you guys are having a good day. I have a slight headache, but I just took something. I'm gonna make this and I'm gonna take my nap. I'm just pouring my pudding in. I would tell you you use three boxes of pudding. So if you want to do two bananas and two vanilla, that's fine. I'm using two vanillas and one banana. And we're using six cups of cold milk. It's like making a nine different. It's not a wrong or right way. You do it however you want to. Because guess what? You can cook in your kitchen. They like it, they like it, they don't, they don't. Hey. So I'm pouring my milk. It's one cup. Two. Three. Jesus. Six. Six cups of milk. I'm going to stir it up with my little stir. I know I'm not a big fan of banana pudding. If I eat it, I don't want the bananas. I'll put the bananas to the side. But I, I cut my bananas thin. You can do however you like. I use three packs of pudding, two vanilla, one banana, a box of vanilla wafers, and four bananas, and two tubs of whipping cream. That's all I use. You know, let the set in the let the chill for about at least two hours, but it can be more than that. I'm just gonna send it all together right here. I'm gonna cut my bananas. I'm trying to make the video quick. Bananas turn black to me the next day. So I would just say make banana pudding, eat it the same day. But you can eat it the next day, but. Or you can make a banana pudding, you know, you guys. You don't have to have banana, just use a banana pudding. Husband like my banana pudding, but it got to be vanilla wafers and it got to be Jello pudding. Can't be no off brand. He ain't gonna, he'll eat it, but he has voiced his opinion. He likes for me to use Jello pudding. I can't taste the difference, not for real. I think if I tell him, hey, I made it with whatever, he 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 wouldn't know the difference, not for real. But I make it like he said he like it, so because I don't really. I just cut the little tips off my bananas. You don't have to. This is what I do. It's what I like doing. And I'm just gonna cut these things little, y'all. I mean, thin, because I don't like thick bananas. Alright, my bananas are all chopped up. 
four bananas. That's how they look. All right. I have my little pan right here. That I'm gonna put my vanilla. In. I'm gonna save some of my little to sprinkle on top. I think I got some more vanilla. What is this in my pan chip? Can I do it? I be buying stuff and I be letting it inspire. Look at some of them. Alright, so I'm going to put vanilla wafers. I'm going to save that many in the bag. Just sprinkle on top. Chop it. So these are my vanilla wafers. Yeah, these are my bananas. I'm just going to put them in like that. Like that. I'm gonna stir my my pudding up and then that's it. Okay. So get away. I'm just gonna pour my pudding on my vanilla wafer just like that. I'm gonna mix it up of course. I'm gonna give it a stir. And I'm gonna put one thing of my cool whip topping in there and mix it all up together. The world of this. Shoot. I mean, shoot. Okay. That's my whip topping. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, you guys, I'm just gonna mix all this up in a bowl together. I should have got a bigger bowl, but I didn't. This is gonna work just fine for me. And you just mix all of it together. And I'm gonna I'm let this sit in the refrigerator for over four hours. Everybody get home about from, they get home late. So by the time they get home, hey, it, this is gonna sit and gelled up and everything. And it's not a wrong or right way. You can put six things of banana. I'm just telling you how I make my banana pudding. And I suggest you make it the way I told you to make it. And the second time, guess what? You go make it. You go uh, play around. Make it your way. But I will always tell you, make it my way first. Like when I make recipes and stuff, I'll make it the way, you know, somebody tell me to make it. But then the next time I change it. Uh, this gonna be this is stirred up real well. All right, so this is good enough for me. Presentation is everything. So guess what? I'm gonna clean the sides off. Mm, tastes delicious. Simple. This is an easy recipe, y'all. Easy, easy, easy. And I'm just gonna put some. my whip tulip on top, whip top, whatever on top, and spread it gently on top. I don't know, I might cook dinner there. I might cook a meatloaf. My head's not hurting. I'm going to do a meatloaf, collard greens, and some. Candy ends. Or I just might do some tacos. I don't know. And then again, who knows? I might not even more cook. So I'm just spraying the whip, the cool whip on top. I got another one. I think I'm going to put two of them. Let's see. You know, I got another one. So I'm going to Yeah, I have to get my other whipped cream to whip out. I don't know if I want to use it. Let's see, can I spread this? I really don't want to use it. Let's see, can I spread this good? I know I can. It 
And I'm just going to set this out in the refrigerator. I'm going to use the other one. I don't really have to, but I'm going to use it because I'm trying to get rid of it. So, I'm going to run the recipe back to you guys again. We're going to use a total of three whipped creams. You're going to put one inside your mixture. So, this is how you're going to make your mixture for your banana cream. You need one bag of vanilla wafers. You need two things of vanilla pudding, one thing of banana pudding, four bananas. And you make the pudding, follow the directions on the pudding container box. And this will feed ooh, about, this will feed about 10 people for real. Oh, it'll feed more. I'm going to say about 15 people. Yeah. It depends on how they serve in size be. I should have got a bigger pan, y'all, but guess what? I'm going to make this do what it do. It's going to work fine. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so delicious. So flavorful. I did put too much. <laughs> but oh well. I can't try to make less. But it didn't work out. I'll get my in-laws on. My neighbors, maybe my aunts, if I go down where they live at. I got too much on him, but yeah, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. I clean the sides up and all that good stuff. Presentation tastes good too, but presentation is too. This is quick to make. This is quick. If I had to make take a dish somewhere, this is <laughs> this is quick to take. Quick dish to make. I would make it the night before. So, if y'all want to take it somewhere. Make sure it's set real good. And these are my remaining crackers. I mean, my vanilla wafers. I'm just going to crunch them up. I mean, beat them up. Whatever you want. Break them up, beat them up. Whatever. And sprinkle them on top. And this time, I do my banana peel. Because I'm going to have to make it go so long. This got to make it go quick, y'all. I'm just gonna put some crumbs on top like that. Like that, like that, like so, like that. I started to just cut the bananas, had the pudding made, and just do it quick. But I wanted to show you, you know, so you can see it, so you can visualize, see what I'm doing. And you guys can, you know, do the same. It's at 15 minutes. Oh, God. I tried to make this thing less than that. <laughs> so I'm spending all my little crumbs on top. Mm -hmm. Voila, baby. Sap delicious banana pudding. It's the bomb. I'll make you some. All right. Let me show you. All right, y'all. This is my end results of my delicious banana pudding. Let's see. Yeah. So make you some. Like, comment, and subscribe.